Whether it was coincidence, homage, or the simple fact that some talents fit mob movies especially well, there were a number of Sopranos actors in Goodfellas. Released in 1990, Martin Scorsese's Goodfellas was based on Wise Guy, Life in a Mafia Family by Nicholas Pileggi. It recounts the life and crimes of Henry Hill who, in his own words, always wanted to be a gangster. Though Mean Streets dealt with young criminals in New York City, Goodfellas was Scorsese's first full-blown mob movie and still remains one of the greatest movies in the genre. Just as Goodfellas stands out as a mafia movie, HBO's The Sopranos was a hugely acclaimed and influential television series that tackles the genre. Starring James Gandolfini as Tony Soprano, David Chase's The Sopranos ran for six seasons, offering a contemporary take on Italian-American gangster life in New York City. Both projects are very distinct mob stories that accomplish their own things, but there are definite similarities, including several actors who appear in both Goodfellas and The Sopranos. Lorraine Bracco is the most obvious and prominent casting connection between Sopranos actors in Goodfellas. In 1990, the actress made her name as Goodfellas Karen Hill opposite Ray Liotta. An ordinary girl lured by the cash and glamour that came with dating a gangster, Karen would crash and burn as collateral damage from her husband's illicit activities. She earned an Oscar nomination for her performance in Scorsese's movie at the 63rd Annual Academy Awards. Though Bracco was reluctant to play a mafia wife again, she joined The Sopranos as Jennifer Melfi, Tony's therapist with whom she shares a complex attachment throughout the HBO series. Dr. Melfi ultimately manages to avoid the tragic pitfalls Bracco's Goodfellas character falls into, and she is able to cleanly break away from Tony Soprano without losing her life. She picked up four Primetime Emmy and three Golden Globe nominations for her role in The Sopranos. Michael Imperioli. Soprano's character, Christopher Maltesanti. Unlike Bracco, Michael Imperioli is far more famous for his role in The Sopranos than he is for Goodfellas. As Christopher Maltesanti, Imperioli played Tony Soprano's protege nephew and the son of a gangster Tony respected deeply. Renowned for his love of tracksuits, Christopher battled several addictions on his way to the top before his inability to get himself straight led to Tony killing Christopher in The Sopranos' final season. He won a Primetime Emmy Award for the show's fifth season. Michael Imperioli had a brief but brilliant Goodfellas role as Spider, the mafia upstart shot in the foot by Joe Pesci and then killed following an ill-advised, go f asterisk asterisk k yourself. Imperioli has enjoyed a nice career since his appearance in these two mafia productions, including television roles in White Lotus, Blue Bloods, Lucifer, and Californication. He also voiced a gangster shark in Sherrick Tale and returned to The Sopranos for a voice role in The Many Saints of Newark. When it comes to Sopranos actors in Goodfellas, Frank Vincent enjoyed a memorable supporting role in Goodfellas as Billy Batts, the made man who riles up Tommy and gets himself killed as payback. Along with being one of the most brutal parts in Scorsese's movie, Batts' death was significant for being the reason Tommy gets whacked in Goodfellas, making him an integral part of the story. Frank Vincent's character in The Sopranos, Phil Leotardo, enjoys an even loftier status. Vincent's Leotardo leads the Lupertazzi crime family and experiences a fractious relationship with Tony and the DeMeo mob. Leotardo's eventual demise in The Sopranos is an homage to Billy Bat's death in Goodfellas. He was gunned down, and his head was crushed under a car tire after this happened. Vincent died in 2017 following a heart attack at the age of 80.